Right, so I got a grooving bit on this little DeWalt trim router. Um, adjustment's really easy on this. You just unlock this here, and then you just turn this knob one way or the other, get you right where you need to be. Got it set. So unlock it, adjust it down, where we want that profile, and then lock it back down. Simple, easy adjustment on that. Ear protection, people. It's loud. That worked pretty good. Downside is it throws dust everywhere. You can see it dusted out several feet beyond. So from that, it was nice, easy to handle. Just gotta learn. I had some trouble finding the on switch because I didn't know what it was. Uh, but on that, did the job. Easy, lightweight. I like it. Okay, round over a bit in the DeWalt. Let's see how it does. Good. All right, we got the Fast Tool 700 ready to put a groove in this board, piece of white oak. Downside, I found out here mounting the grooving bit. The large base, they call it, that grooving bit won't fit there. You have to take the base off to put your cutter in. So I had to use switch to the other base. Now the downside is what I lose with that. I lose my vacuum port. You see on large base, the vacuum port's here. No vacuum port. That gets in the way. Not gonna work for demonstration. So Fetzel loses out on its vacuum capabilities when you groove in the board. Let's see how it cuts. Um, but first adjustments here. You loosen this handle, turn this up or down. To lower, raise it, and get it real precise. A lot more precision, uh, which is Fez tool, as you know. Let's see how it rips. Ear protection, people, because it's loud. Plenty of power to rip through that board, put a groove in, no problem. A little more loose though, feeling. If you notice the base is triangle like that, I, they should have just left it. But I mean, maybe for edge trimming, <laughs> it needs to be like that, but for our purposes, you don't, it could use a little more support right there. Made it feel a little more tippy than the DeWalt, because that's what we're comparing. Um, but did a job worked pretty good So now we're gonna put another round over bit in here. Let's see how it does with that All right, so got a round over bit in the 700 here What's nice I can hook up the large base to it. It will fit so I can hook up the vacuum to it keep the dust down Adjustments on here are a little bit different. You have two knobs. You have this knob to loosen and this knob to loosen. Make your fine adjustments with the green here. Lock it down, lock it down, and you're good to go. Took me a minute to figure that out. I had to look in the book. <laughs> 
That's okay. Figured it out. So let's see what this do. little dust with the vacuum makes it really nice uh, works good you know this can used to wet on off switch is of course a new tool takes a minute um, but yeah we're good so I love dust extraction another nice thing about Fez tool too if you don't know is the cords interchangeable so if you got multiple tools which I usually do you only need one cord one hose and you connect them all up as you go along. Uh, let's move along now. All right, so got the little Bosch Colt one horsepower little trim router here. With the little grooving bed as you can see. So this is just a quick down and dirty router. <laughs> Basically, it's pretty basic. Um, a couple of features real quick. Unlock this to raise and lower it. Microfine adjustment there. Now the handiest thing was right here is these finger holds, which at first I thought was a little silly, but then when I used it, it actually is a little handy to have. And so we'll just throw this through and show you how it runs the groove really quick. Protect your ears, people. Nice and easy, quick, it's light, it's small. Uh, if you notice, I use the finger holes to get started, to get it set right. It does have a smaller plate, so you do have to be a little bit more careful when you're routing to keep it squared up there. But in that, it's a nice, quick little router just to throw in your bag. All right, so we have Triton's three and a quarter horsepower plunge router here. This is a nice, Nice router. We'll go over a couple of its features for you real quick. So it's three and a quarter horse. So it's got plenty of power to rip through just about anything you need to go through. And what I like about it is too is that it's very simple. It's a simple design. It's not hard to figure out. I didn't have to read the instructions to know how to work this thing. So that's always nice. Um, but yeah, it does have a vacuum port. So you can plug your, if you know, Fest Tool Vac plugs right in there or whatever. Port, no vacuum port. And these little knobs take off the base if you want to mount it to a router table. This is a big router, it's pretty big and heavy. Um, so it'll be really good for a table. A little hard to use on handheld if you're doing little work like that. Um, the safe, the switch, the power is protected so you can't accidentally turn it on. I really like that. I always have that worry with some of the routers I run of accidentally bumping the switch and turning it on and you know those cutters are dangerous. So I like that feature. It's a little cumbersome though to turn it on you have to pull this back to hit the switch. But it's nice you won't accidentally turn it on. You got your stop levers here for your depth stop different adjustments different heights you can set that up to pretty simple chip guard all the way around so you don't have a bunch of chips flying in your face and then micro adjustment infinite all the way up all the way down this thing will keep on turning if you want to go micro you can get it really precise other than that you just turn it like that up and down you press that in boom i like it and then lock it down in place there so, we'll do some cutting with it. All right, let's see how this thing cuts now. Got mirror protection, hooked up a vacuum. Being that it's open on one side, it's still going to get a lot of chips out of it, a lot of dust, but at least it will capture some of it. And 
Let's rip it. I like it. Nice and stable. There's a wide base to it. Wasn't real tilty. Lots of power. Just rip right through that. It's good. All right, so if you're a hardwood floor installer, you should have a router on the job site. You can always put new grooves in the boards, you cut for headers, stuff like that. Keep everything interlocked. Now in the world of routers, there's lots of options out there. I have large routers, such as this Triton, three and a quarter horse. This thing's a beast. It will rip through anything. This thing's really nice, I like it. But for everyday use, it's a little big. I have medium routers. I have like the Fez Tool 1400. This thing I've ripped a lot of boards with it. It works really good, but still a little big for everyday use. So recently I got some trim routers to try out. I was like, are they powerful enough for what we do? And so I tried them out. I got three of them. I've got the Fez Tool, the MFK 700. I got this little DeWalt. Model is. 611 and this little Bosch Colt one horsepower one So they all do the job Some of it comes down to personal preference. They all rip really good put a groove in the board. No problem I ran them all through some white oak. They did the job the downside to the Fez tool is that the Grooving bit won't fit into the large base. The large base has a vacuum port. It has another base for it they take off put the grooving bit in and it works but you lose the vacuum sensation the other side is it's a, it's a little clunky to use for quick little work that we do um, i do like it this fast tool comes in a sustainer which is nice the cord is detachable which is nice to switch between tools it does have that features for it but of these three trim routers this is my least favorite. So between the DeWalt and the Bosch, I'm kind of torn which one I like more. The Bosch you can see is a little smaller, a little easier to hold, and it worked really well. It ripped right through the material. Um, so I liked it. The adjustment was a little funky. I don't like the adjustment. It's not as easy as the DeWalt. The DeWalt adjustment's a little bit easier to make those fine adjustments to it. Uh, but the DeWalt worked really well too. And they both come with a plunge base, so if you want to use them as a plunge router, you can as well, which is a nice little feature you can get for them, being a tiny little router. So we'll have to put them some more use, maybe in a year or two, come back and visit, see which one we like more. But out of three trim routers, either DeWalt or the Bosch is my choice. They're cheap, they're easy to handle, they're small, compact compared to a larger router. So I recommend getting a small compact router to put in your install tools to have it handy on the job so you can make it a little bit nicer for your clients. And we'll see. 